Hi, good evening, and welcome to what is a quick um, Grand National preview for Coppola de Reason, um for the vlog. Um, big race, of course, uh, due off at 5.15 tomorrow. Um, uh, it's not the deepest Grand National we've ever seen, and that's why, you know, horses such as Tiger Roll and my anti-post tip, Rath Vinden, have a real good chance. I got Rath Vinden about 33 to 1 a couple of months ago. Um, I'm really pleased at the fact that since then he's obviously come out and won the Bobby Joe over in Ireland um, and I think he has a hell of a chance. Um, vibes seem to be really good from Willie Mullins stable um, and from Ruby who will be on board tomorrow. Um, so yeah, still going to be sticking with Raph Finden obviously. I'll have another punt on him as well on top of the anti-post bet that I've had. Um, Tiger Roll I think has a hell of a chance to do... Um, what a uh, Red Rum achieved back in the 70s. Um, he's had another cracking season, won again at Cheltenham um, a couple of weeks ago, um, and seems in fine fettle. Obviously, he's went up in the weights a little, even more so with Bristol de May coming out of the race, um, but uh, he has a class, class horse, um, four time festival winner, so you know he's got all the credentials to go out there and do it again. And I think he, as I say, he will run really, really well. Um, it's it, the, the other positives, I think, okay, he's carrying a bit more weight, but the ground's better than what it was last year. Um, and I think that will mitigate the, 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 the extra weight that he's carrying. Um, other tips, Yala Enki, who was up to anti-post a bet of mine, is now out of the race. Um, but I would give an each way shout to the likes of Jury Jury. Um, I think he's got a great chance um, to feature in the finish. Um, maybe some stamina doubts, but I think he he can um, stand up to the challenge and see out that four and a quarter miles that he'll face tomorrow. Um, of the others, um, looking at the Scottish horses, Lakeview Lad from Nick Alexander, I think um, has got a real good chance after that performance at Cheltenham in the Ultima, where he finished third. Um, if he comes on from that, he's surely going to feature in there in those famous colours of Sir Trevor Hemmings, who has won this with the likes of, of course, many clouds, Balabricks and Hedge Hunter. Um, so can't be ruled out. Um, one for Arthur, Lucinda Russell has been speaking very um, bullishly about him today after, you know, a disappointing season, missed last season, flu injury, having won the Grand National two years ago, in very impressive style, let's not forget. And if he's just re revitalised when he gets to, to injury, then he cannot be ruled out. Um, and as I say, Lucinda really feels he's came back to himself the past few weeks, looks great, and his coat is, is physically looking great. And I had that wee spin around Carlisle to, to you know, get him prepped for tomorrow. Um, Captain Redbeard who's snuck in at the bottom of the handicap over the past couple of weeks, eh, past couple of days, sorry, um, never really seems to excel down the entry, and that would be my big concern for him. But for me, I think Rath Finden and Tiger Roll, both at the head of the market, um, I'll probably still have a wee bet on Tiger Roll, particularly if I can get him at 5 to 1. Um, but each way punts on the likes of Jury Duty, um, Lakeview Lad, and um, one for Arthur. I'll tweet more thoughts on the Grand National tomorrow morning um, and uh, some other tips for the day as well. But looking forward to the big race, always do every year, and let's hope it can be as profitable as it was last year. Enjoy. Couple of the racing, folks.